Did you ever think the AI we're marveling at today could become obsolete in just five years? Meta's chief AI scientist, Yan LeCun, thinks so. And what he's predicting might just reshape everything we know about technology. Let's hear it in his own words. Okay, what I spend most of my time on, despite, you know, <clears throat> which might be misled into thinking uh, because of my external activities, um, I'm really working on like fundamental research to get to the next step in AI because current technology is very limited. You know, everybody's excited about LLMs and we should, you know, push them as far as we can and they're super useful, but like they're not a path towards uh, human level intelligence. So I'm really working on, you know, how can we fix that? Right now, AI like ChatGPT, Gemini, and others dominate headlines. They write poems, answer questions, even code. But Lacan says they're basic, primitive even. He believes that five years from now, nobody in their right mind will use them anymore. Why? What's wrong with these models? Why is one of the greatest minds in AI so sure that their time is ticking away? Let's dig into it. Yeah. Right. Thoughts about the future. Okay, so I don't like the phrase AGI famously because, uh, you know, human, human level, human intelligence is very specialized in the first place, right? We know this because we have a lot of computer systems that can do much better than humans in sort of narrow uh, areas. That means we're not so good at everything. Uh, uh, so at, at, at Meta, we use the, the phrase AMI, Advanced Machine Intelligence. So okay. what's going to happen over the next two years is that um, there's going to be progress using the current paradigm, LLMs with words, with kind of things bolted on it, so we can do a little bit of reasoning, it can understand images, and you know, various things like this. But it's, it's going to be like a huge hack, and, um, and there is diminishing return in like, you know, how much better they get with more data, we already got the data, so you know, it's saturating. So we need this new paradigm for the next, uh, you know, after that. Um, so I, I expect to see some early, um, uh, progress on this sort of new paradigm within three to five years. And perhaps in five years, we'll know if we're on a good path towards something like human level intelligence. Imagine a world where AI doesn't just answer questions or generate essays, but actually understands the world like we do. A world where machines learn by observing, interacting, and reasoning. This is the world Jan LeCun envisions, a world he says could be here in as little as three to five years. But here's the twist. Today's AI, generative AI and large language models that we are pouring billions into, they don't have what it takes to make that leap. LeCun lays out four fundamental problems. First, these AIs have no awareness of the physical world. They can describe it, sure, but they can't truly understand it. Second, their memory, it's fleeting. They don't retain context over time, no continuous memory. Third, they lack reasoning. They're great at mimicking intelligence, but can't truly think. And fourth, complex planning? Forget it. These models can't handle the intricate tasks we humans tackle every day. Um, and the main mission is really to kind of uh, figure out like the next generation AI system that is capable of doing things that current systems can't do, understanding the physical world, um, having persistent memory and being able to reason and plan. Okay, those are kind of the four things that LLMs really can do without sort of added, you know, ingredients to it. So the idea behind this, I mean, the reason we're working on this is because, you know, we see a future where everyone will wear one of those uh, smart glasses right. and we'll interact with them through, through voice or through, you know, bracelets with EMG um, and, uh, and various other uh, interfaces. And we need those systems to have human level intelligence if you want them to basically act like a uh, human staff or a system, yeah. right? So, so where does that leave us? Are we stuck with these limitations forever? Not quite. LeCun believes the solution lies in a revolutionary paradigm shift, one that could usher in what he calls the decade of robotics. Picture this, AI systems that learn the way we do. They observe, they interact, they build mental models of the world. Imagine robots capable of understanding their environment, adapting to it, and solving problems on the fly. No more static training data, no more rigid algorithms. Instead, a dynamic, adaptive intelligence. LeCun calls it a new paradigm. And if Meta's plan succeeds, we could see these systems emerge in just a few short years. Systems with common sense, systems that truly understand how the world works. But here's the thing, 
While Lacun predicts the downfall of generative AI, companies like OpenAI are already pushing boundaries with Agentic AI. Ever heard of OpenAI's operator? It's an AI that doesn't just chat, it acts. Need groceries? It'll order them for you. Flights, booked, memes, created. Could this be the bridge to the future Likun envisions? Or is it just another stepping stone, one that will also fade away in time? The truth is we're standing at the edge of a technological revolution. Will the AI of tomorrow make today's systems look like ancient relics? Or are we underestimating the potential of generative AI to evolve and adapt? Let hear what British AI scientist Andrew NG has to say about the coming world. You know, I think there is no way, practical way to slow down AI, but I think there's a lot of work ahead of us to make sure that everyone is lifted up and we don't leave people behind. I think for a nation like India, what I would say is leapfrog, leapfrog, leapfrog. The nature of work is changing. And in the future, I think almost everyone, not just software engineers, but also marketers, recruiters, journalists, uh, would be able to use computers much more powerfully than it was ever possible before. So to anyone worried about your job, I say learn to code, take control of it, because in the future, the ability to direct computers to do exactly what you want will be one of the most important skills. And so I don't think AI will replace people, but people that know how to use AI will replace people that don't. So let's, let's make sure as many people as possible are those that know how to use AI. One thing is for sure, the next five years will redefine everything we thought we knew about artificial intelligence. So what do you think? Are we ready to leave generative AI behind and embrace this new era of robotics and adaptive intelligence? Or is Lacun underestimating the staying power of today's models? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take. And hey, if this video opened your mind to what's coming next, give it a like, share it with someone who'd find it fascinating, and consider subscribing to stay ahead of the curve. The future of AI is unfolding before our eyes. Let's explore it together.